Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. Uh, right now, you in front of you, you see a chart of the E-mini S&P 500 futures contract. Uh, on the last trading session, Friday the 7th, uh, we have a black body occur because prices closed lower than they opened. Uh, during the past 10 bars, there have been three white up candles and seven black down candles for a net of four black down candles. During the past 50 bars, there have been 29 white up candles and 21 black down candles for a net of eight white up candles. Uh, three black candles occurred in the last three trading sessions. Although these candles were not big enough to create three black crows, the steady downward pattern is bearish. Uh, taking a look at the post scan swing VIX, currently we have a, uh, a minus 19 reading on the post scan and a negative uh, reading on the swing VIX. Uh, currently the market pulse is negative since it's trading below its signal line. The post scan crossed below the swing VIX eight periods ago. Taking a look at uh, entry points for Monday, Sunday night into Monday, we do not have any um, system uh, signals for Sunday night and Monday, so we're going to have to wait and see what develops on the Monday trading session. Uh, the system is still uh, holding short positions. Uh, of course, um, my, my strategy is to take profit uh, every day, uh, so if, if I make money, I like to be out. Uh, that's just how I do. Sometimes I'll let things, you know, profits ride a little bit, but generally I'm always adding positions and I like to get flat every day. That's just how I do most of the time. But uh, the system is always, you know, either long or short, or if it's on the sidelines, you know, I'll indicate that. Um, so when I say to you that um, the system is, is short, or if you see, um, if, you, if you, uh, those of you who download the transcripts, when you look under the swing VIX short or long entry positions and you see where it says hold shorts or holding longs it'll give you the first pulse wave in, uh, signal in the second it'll tell you like it's like in this one here it says hold shorts first pulse wave from 11.48.50 um, and the second one was from 11.81.50 uh, basically what it's saying is that uh, when those trades were generated, those signals were generated that's where the system would have gotten short at. Um, so the way I do it is, unless I tell you that I'm, I'm still holding it, uh, you can you can just assume that I got out um, before the close. That's just how I do. Uh, but I still keep the printout on the transcript so you can see um, how the signal just to get a read on and how the system works. But currently, uh, the system holding shorts from the first and second pulse wave from 11.48 and 11.81 respectively. So that's how that would work. Okay, so any other questions, uh, I can explain that more in detail a little bit later. All right, getting back to the technicals. Uh, the trend channel is down, and that means that we have negative momentum entering the market, so we expect sideways to lower prices within the next three to five days. Uh, one note to mention here, when we say sideways to lower prices or sideways to higher prices what that saying is that usually when in an extended um, rally on it or extended sell-off like you see here in the S&P futures you see these last three bars they were just parabolic what that saying is when it says sideways to higher prices what we're expecting is actually a consolidation within a retracement and what that means is you can expect price uh, prices to retrace um, in, it, in excess of 50% 50, 50 of the move and even all the way up to the actual breakout point. And we still call that sideways because it hasn't broken out above the breakdown point and it hasn't gone below uh, the, uh, the swing low or reaction low. So we would call that sideways prices because technically it is. It's not breaking out or breaking down. It's not trending. It's just trading sideways or retracing some of the movement. So that's what that means. All right, uh, getting back to this here, uh, the swing VIX uh, is currently not overbought or oversold, uh, but we, we did hit numbers that would indicate that we're getting closer and closer to, to a support. 
but let me explain to you what these raw numbers mean. The post scan is a negative 1968. The swing VIX is a negative 19.15. So the post scan is below the swing VIX. We don't start building support until we hit negative 29. And then after that, we don't get oversold into negative 40. So when you when you start hitting like negative 38, negative 40, um, that's usually when we're oversold and you can expect a, a pretty swift reversal. Um, I've seen it uh, in extreme situations even go to like 60, negative 60, uh, or even a positive 60 in reverse. Uh, that's Those are rare, but it can happen. More often than not, we usually hit that 29 and we, we like pick